What would Russ watch on in 1992? 1992. Russ would have been 31 years old. No, I would have been 17. Oh, 17. School night, but his parents are not home. Where the hell they, they went going? on a date? Oh, on a Sunday night? It's a work day the next day. Well, it's not really a date. It's what they call it, key party. Oh, my gosh. When, uh, if you do, I need to explain it to you. No. See, your parents met these new couple at church that's just in the town. They at come church? From, yes, they were from uh, Wyoming. And they started telling your parents how they do things a little different in Wyoming. Wow. And you take your key to your house and you put it in a bucket and you shake the bucket up. And you take that key and you go to the bedroom and, you know, it's called, uh, it's an old-fashioned word for it was wife swapping. 4,000 <laughs> people in all of Wyoming. This, yeah, this is where they invented key parties, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so while your parents are at the key party and you're over there, you know, you call a few people on the phone and said, what's a key party? Do they, like, just celebrate making keys or something? And they didn't want to tell you. So you said, I'll watch a little TV and you can turn it on ABC and watch America's Funniest Home Videos. Oh. <laughs> and Bob Saget? Oh, yeah, Bob Saget can see uh, talk about it, getting hit in the nuts. Or you can have it on CBS and watch Murder, She Wrote. Mm. Mm. I'm going to go with America's Nah, not done I'm about to say, uh, well, you hesitate like you are. Is, I'm, 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 I'm leaving Fox off. It was busting me up. Or you can go to NBC and watch Eyewitness Video. What the hell is that? I, I had a quick... I watched a news program, a reality show, starring... Patrick Van Horn. Okay. Okay, okay so what you watch? <laughs> America's Funniest uh, Videos? America's Funniest Videos. Yeah. Okay. You know what was on at 7 o'clock? What? That we skipped? Quantum Leap. Oh, oh why was that on at 7? What the hell? I've been trying something new that this season or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay. 8.30. 8.30. You can stay right there. You don't have to get up. You can leave it right there and watch America's Funniest People with Dave Cooley. <laughs> or... You can't watch CBS. And you can't watch NBC. So you're just staying right there and watching America's Funniest People. It's Dave Coulet. I don't know who the lady was on the show. Oh, <laughs> Dave Coulet and... Tana Contain. Oh, okay. Probably she came later. Okay. Nine o'clock. Parents call. Russ. We're going to be late. And you're like, why, Dad? Your mom's still in the room with Albert. So <laughs> Albert... <laughs> you know the key party's about over, but your mom's. I guess you got a little extra key that night. Oh, and so you can stay right there. What about my mom? <laughs> you can stay right there and watch the ABC Sunday Night Movie. You can head over to CBS and watch the CBS Sunday Night Movie, the CBS Movie, or <laughs> NBC. You can watch the NBC Sunday Night Movie. <laughs> I'm gonna go with ABC. <laughs> yeah, tell me Sunday uh, Movie Nights. Okay, we'll move on from that. Okay. Ooh, ABC. It's Monday night. You went back to school. You had a hard day. You got home. You're like, I can't wait to see my mom and dad. I've been at school all day. You walk in the door. They're not there. There's a note on the fridge. There's a note on the fridge. The hey, we went to Showbiz Pizza because it's your favorite place. And we want to celebrate because it's your birthday. <laughs> so they left you at home and went to your favorite place, Showbiz Pizza. <laughs> yeah. So on ABC, you could watch The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. CBS, you could watch Evening Shade. And over on NBC, you can watch ugh, he's gonna pick it, The Fresh Prince. Mm, I don't know, which one? That's a tough one there. It is a tough one. I probably would have watched The Fresh Prince. Nah, I figured that. I, never, I didn't watch Young Indiana Jones. I didn't either. I couldn't get into it. Nah, it's Evening Shade did have Burt Reynolds on it, though. I did like Evening Shade. Okay, well, you can't watch ABC, so you can watch Major Dad. Oh. Ooh, ooh, or go to NBC, and you can watch Blossom. Probably would have watched Major Dad. I think no, I remember watching that more than Blossom, but I did watch both. Mm, Blossom was six. Mm-hmm. Okay, now, free. You can turn to the TV. You can watch Monday Night Football. Hey, are you ready for some football? Or you can leave it on CBS and watch Murphy Brown. Whoa. I probably would have watched Murphy <laughs> Brown. Or the NBC night, the NBC Monday Night Movie. No. I guess Murphy Brown's okay. I probably would have watched Murphy I Brown. Say. I ain't watching no football. Okay, well, you can't turn it. You can't turn it the rest of the night. Ah. So, you know what you have to watch? What? Love and War. 
I got root. Okay. Susan D. I don't know that one. I thought it would have. Uh, remember when uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Richard Lewis did a show? That was Anything that? But Love, Anything. and it was on um, ABC, uh, I think. Okay. All right, then you can watch Northern Exposure. Oh, I love Northern Exposure. I, I didn't watch that in years. I wonder how that is now. I used to love it. Oh, uh, latest episode of The Last of Us had the the lady, the the woman that was his receptionist on there. The main lady? I yeah. The, like the quiet oh. one, yeah. No, oh, okay. I haven't seen her in a while. Mm-hmm. It's Tuesday night. Yep. You come home. Your dad's home and your mom's home and they're in the living room. Yeah. Finally, Russ gets to hang out with his parents. I missed you guys. All right. They hand you, your dad hands you their remote and says, here, son, you can watch whatever you want to. Awesome. And you're like, finally, my parents are home. Usually they control the TV. And your dad says, yes, because we're getting the hell out of here. We're going to Red Lobster. It's all you can eat shrimp night. I like popcorn <laughs> shrimp. Yes. And he says, we don't like you. And they head to Red Lobster. Aww. <laughs> so, you can head over to ABC and make your dad very disappointed and watch Full House. <laughs> <laughs> or you can turn it over to CBS and watch Rescue 911 with William Shackner. Or, you can put it on NBC and watch Quantum Leap. Oh, let's go Quantum Leap. Yes, Quantum Although Leap. I did watch some Rescue 911 back in the day. It was a good show. So that means you don't get to watch the Jackie Thompson show. Oh. Whatever that is. <laughs> that was, the, that was um, Tom Arnold's first sitcom. <laughs> okay, ABC. Turn it over and laugh with some Roseanne. Mm -hmm. Or you can watch the CBS Sunday Night Movie. I didn't know there was so many movies. Oh, Tuesday Night Movie. Or you can leave it right there and watch South Beach. I think I'll watch Roseanne. What the hell, South Beach? Is that a war movie? Maybe. War that was China movie? Beach. Oh, China Beach. Roseanne. Mm. South Beach is Miami. I don't know what ABC. That was. ABC was king. You can watch. You ready? Yep. You can turn it and watch Coach. Oh. All right, you can't. You got to watch Coach. I like Coach. Unless you want to watch Delta if it was summertime. Yeah, I'd watch uh, Delta. Delta had a Reba McIntyre song for the Ooh. theme song. Ooh. Is there life out there? No. Nope. Climb that mountain high. Okay. Okay. You can turn it or leave it right there and watch Going to the Extreme. Oh, that is Never you. heard of that, man. It's a drama television series starring Frank South. <laughs> Who the hell is Frank South? <laughs> I can't even click on his name. So that's just you, know? uh, you can't go to CBS or you can turn to NBC and watch Dateline. I guess I'm going to have to watch Dateline, even though I've never watched Dateline. Well, I have watched Dateline before. But. Yeah, it's been with Top of you. Okay, so. I don't remember TV being this bad in 1992. No, no. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay, it's Wednesday night. You come home from school. You have play with your friends. Your mom and dad's there. Mm -hmm. and you say, I don't care if you're here, mom and dad. You're just going to leave and go eat and not feed me. I know yeah. what you do. And they say, no, son. We're not going to eat anything. We're going to stay home tonight because I know you want to watch TV. One of your favorite television shows comes on at 9 o'clock and we want to stay here. And we'll be in the bedroom making sweet love oh. while you laugh at your favorite television show because we love making love and hearing you laugh down the hall. At least they're home. <laughs> so you say, okay, I guess that's better than nothing. So I'll he hands it. you the remote and says, but you get to control the television. <laughs> you can watch ABC. You can watch The Wonder Years. Mm-hmm. You can head over to CBS and watch Space Rangers. There's one, two, three, four, five different shows on CBS that year. Holy crap. What was Family Dog? The Trouble with Larry. I remember the Family Dog. I don't Space Rangers. Remember Space Rangers. I remember Space Rangers, Rangers at all. Oh, Space Rangers. It's got that little lady in it. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> like pure crap. That don't even look like the 90s. No. It's American Science Fiction Show. How many episodes are there? Six episodes. Please. <laughs> All right, okay, you can watch Space Ranger or NBC. Unsolved Mystery. Mm, which one are you going to go for? What was the other one besides Space Rangers? The Wonder Years. The Wonder Years. Oh, I do like the You're Wonder gonna Years. You're going to laugh with Penny Lane in the Wonder Years. Who's Penny Lane? <laughs> oh, Fred Savage. Pretty laugh. Pretty Savage. Okay. Um, I'll probably watch the Wonder Years. No, that means you can't turn the channel. That no, means you're going to be It's only half an hour long. Yeah. yeah I mean, you can't hear because Unsolved Mysteries is on. Oh, okay. Space Rangers. I, do, I did watch some Unsolved Mysteries, I but they used to scare me as a kid, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I had to be home to watch it. Some, some freaky birthday play that music, and I'm like, somebody's trancing around outside you, while my parents are in the bedroom making love, and they're going to get me. You remember when they do the reenactments? Yep. Do you think people call the police on the actors? Probably. Because they're like, that guy lives next door to me. I'm sure I'm sure it probably happens sometimes, yeah. Yeah. It's like, look just like Steve. Okay. You can watch, You can leave it there, but I'll let you pick the day of the year. You can watch Doogie Howser, MD. Ooh, what a jerk. Or Home Free. Uh, Doogie Howser, MD. Well, you know what Home Free is? I have no idea what Home Free is. Okay, 9 o'clock. You can change that channel. Or you can watch Home Improvement. But, over on CBS, is a television show that all old we people would have been watching, The Heat of the Night. Or, I know you're thinking, there's no way I'm not watching Home Improvement. That's what you're thinking. Of. No. You can turn it on NBC Home and you can watch Seinfeld. I'd be watching Seinfeld. <laughs> okay, Seinfeld. That's why I never watch Home Improvement. I never would have thought that the whole song Mystery and Seinfeld was on about the thing. Okay, well, you can stay right there. You know what you can watch if you stay there? What? Ooh, don't get mad at me. Get mad at them. It's mad about you. Oh. Yeah. Tell me you why. You can't watch CBS. But you can turn it to ABC and watch Coach. Oh, I do like Coach. He do the bash on some Mad About You for some reason. Yeah, a good I show like, back I'm going to watch Coach. It was, you know, but it's so funny. You know what's funny is that <laughs> end of Seinfeld where Susan's making George watch Mad About You, and he's just looking at the TV like he doesn't understand how anybody in in all of humanity <laughs> could watch this show, <laughs> and it's the off. funniest shit to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is so funny. I'm yeah, like, oh, it's so great. Uh, it's funny. But yeah, I, I did watch some Mad About You, but I did like mm. Coach. I like it. Craig T. Nelson's awesome. Yeah, he's right, still right. awesome. He's on. You know what he's on? He's on Young Sheldon. Oh God! Which is a great show, no, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can watch Coach. You can leave it there, and you can watch Civil Wars. I don't know oh, what that, that is. is uh-huh. Or you can turn to CBS and watch Forty Eight Hours. Okay. Or NBC, you can watch yourself some Law and Order. I guess I turned to Law and Order. Mm-hmm. You're almost Civil a great War. Trilogy. Yeah, I don't know what Civil War is. It's a Stephen Brocko film, uh, produced TV show. Nah, I'm good. Sure? Yeah. Stars Alan Rosenberg. Okay. <laughs> I know who that is. <laughs> Lasted two seasons. 36 episodes. Okay, so we're through with that night. Thursday night. Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Let's see TV. Jump <laughs> man channel popping, though. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. 